What is up my pen friends and paper lovers? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin and for today's video, I have a small haul to share. I know I haven't talked about it much on my channel before, but I am a huge fan of the Goulet Pen Company. I watch Brian's videos on the regular and I think that's what really pushed me into the fountain pen hobby and rapidly I fell down the rabbit hole and now we're here but I decided that I was going to take advantage of some of the things that they had on sale they're currently doing a lot of different summer deals and weekly promotions so if you didn't hear you might want to check it out I decided to pick up a couple of ink samples I saw that they had those on sale so I clicked perused and decided that I would try out the Urban Bestseller Ink Sample Set. It is normally priced at $12.80, but it's currently on sale for $9.60. I'm currently in the stage of my fountain pen journey where sampling ink seems like the best option because I'm still getting to know what's out there and what I like and what I don't like. So I haven't really committed to full bottles yet. And I really liked the swatches that they had on their website. They were colors that I was attracted to. I'm pretty sure that I will butcher the names of these ink samples. So I'll just let you look at the screen cap. And from what I've seen, these are pretty well behaved inks. So I wanted to try it because most of my samples right now are sheening or shimmer inks, which isn't always the friendliest option for my fountain pens. So I wanted to get something a little bit more manageable. <laughs> One thing that I really like about the Goulet Pen Company is they have a section called the bottom shelf on their website. And basically they have items listed that might be slightly damaged or a return and they discount it so that we as customers can take advantage of it. So all the items that they have listed there, they put the defects in the description so you're well aware of what it is that's wrong with that particular item, but all of the items that they post are fully functional. So I decided to take advantage and get this Rhodia Dot Grid Notebook. It's 5.875 inches by 8.25 inches. And I'm pretty jazzed about this purchase because it's my first time experiencing Rhodia paper which is often recommended as fountain pen friendly paper. I was kind of hesitant to purchase this because it's technically a notebook and I'm trying to go through my current journal collection and use it up because there's quite a few that are blank, but those journals are not fountain pen friendly and I wanted to get something that I could share in videos and provide like proper swatching. Normally I would use something like my Wordsworth planner to show you guys pen swatches, but it is very absorbent and I think as I kind of explore other nib sizes, it might not do so great because right now I think the boldest that I've written in here is with like a medium nib. So I'm hoping that using something like the Rhodia dot pad will be better suited for my fountain pen videos. A perfect example of this is my new Conklin Duragraph fountain pen, which I used my Rhodia dot pad to do some writing samples for you guys. But let me go ahead and talk about the specs first. So this pen is originally priced at $75, but Goulet Pens has it priced at $52 for their sale right now. It's a resin body and I decided that I would go ahead and get a flex nib. So I was feeling pretty adventurous. I believe it comes in extra fine, fine, medium, and then you have the flex option. Because it's a number six nib, I felt more comfortable in taking a chance on the flex nib because if for whatever reason it didn't work out, I could just swap the nib. And I saw that that was the case for some people in the reviews on the website. It's a screw cap and a push to post. I think for me, I'd probably just write with it unposted because it feels kind of back-weighted if I do post it. And on the pen body, it does have engraved the words Duraflex, limited edition, and this pen is number 1,803 out of 1,898. It does come with a piston converter that I decided to fill with one of my new ink samples. 
It is the Urban Blue Callan Q and I apologize that I'm probably saying that incorrectly, but let me show you the writing sample because I think it ended up being a perfect pen pairing. I don't normally go all matchy matchy with my pen and inks, but when given the opportunity, why the heck not? I saw so many different reviews, some people saying that they liked the flex option, some people saying that it really wasn't what they were looking for. I set my expectations accordingly, and while it's not the uber flex pen of my dreams, I think this is going to be a very fun pen for me to play around with and get used to. This is my first experience with a flex pen, so I apologize that my handwriting is a little shaky, but I think it gives you a good idea of what this pen can do. It definitely has some line variation. This pen was a bit of a splurge for me, but I did want to take advantage of the sale price and all things considered, I'm pretty happy with it. I know I kind of glossed over the details, so if you guys want a more in-depth review, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that. Have you guys checked out the Goulet pen sale? There are a lot of great things on there. I don't want to penable you, but might be worth checking out. Let me know if you guys decide to pick up anything or if you have already, if there's any recommendations. I always love hearing that, so let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a friend who you think might also enjoy it. I love talking about all things pen and paper, so if that's your jam, make sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications. I do my best to upload every Thursday evening, so please take care until then, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.